But I want to go back to assignment because there's one thing I like to show you in assignment, and that let's talk about uh, the what one other component, and that is uh, the rubric. So let's go look at the rubric real quick. So if I click create, and then I'm going to create click create an assignment. And I'm just going to put whatever name in here. I'm not going to add any of this stuff to it. Um, I'm not even going to add a topic to it, which is like way against what I tell people. But I'm, I'm, I want to get to that rubric piece. So right here, this says rubric. When I click it, I'm going to I can create a rubric. And once I've created one rubric, then I can reuse a rubric. If I say reuse a rubric, it's going to show me, oh, you don't have any rubrics in this practice classroom. Uh, do you have one in your new Google Classroom? Oh, I sure do. I have one that I did yesterday. So I'm going to click on this one and I can then I can hit select because I already created that rubric. But what if I want to create a brand new rubric? Brand new. So I click rubric, create rubric. And now what I'm going to be able to do is I put the title of that rubric in here. Maybe it's station rotation time, right? So I'm just putting here stations. All right, and we're and we're going to start with points one, and this is going to be needs improvement, right? All right, needs improvement, and now I can put a description. What does that description look like? Talks a lot, not on task, whatever the, those parameters might be. And once I'm finished there, then I hit the plus sign, and then I add my next point value, right? I add my next point value. Um, and a little better. And then my description is more on task, completed at least one assignment, whatever. And then I add my next point value, which is going to be three. And, okay, not bad. Right? Again, I add those descriptors. And then I add another one, four. And, and, um, I, I move on from there. Okay, move on. I can add as many as I want, um, but if I wanted just to leave this, I'm going to just put on here. Great, right? And that's it. Okay, and it says six points on here. I'm like, I don't know why it's changing. My it must be my keyboard. Great. All right, so now I've got my my uh, my rubric ready to go, and I'm going to click up here the big blue button that says save. Click it. And now it has saved it in there. So when students get to this assignment, they're going to click on the rubric and they're going to see the rubric that's going to help them to determine what they need to do for that assignment. This is very helpful when you want to try to clone yourself and because you get that question 80 times. Well, what do I need to do to get a five? What do I need? And you're just like, OK, I've answered that question. 20 times already, but if you put a rubric in there, then you don't have to. You just say uh, refer to your rubric, right?